Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to day five of Random Recess on the Carnival Mardi Gras. We just docked in Amber Cove in the Dominican Republic, and all I gotta say is welcome to Jurassic Park. So yeah, this is a pretty long pier, so you can see they have pedicabs that will take you to the end if you don't feel like walking or if you're not able to walk the pier, uh, they do have pedicabs, so just be, just be aware of that. Alright y'all, we got off the ship, we're walking on the pier, uh, we're here in Amber Cove. It's a hot one. It's really hot. We're, um, we've got an excursion today, so we'll show you everything, tell you all about it, it's La Casa and La Playa, a select retreat here in Amber Cove, uh, which was booked directly through Carnival. Yeah, and the nice thing about booking through Carnival is don't have to worry about transportation or being late back to the ship. Everything's taken care of through them, and it's kind of a guarantee that you're not going to get left behind. So it's, this is a really pretty walk to the pier, to the, uh, to the port. You know, they uh, filmed parts of Jurassic Park here, so you can definitely tell <laughs> it looks like it. Of course, almost every port has a duty-free shop that you walk through. Um, might have to check this out and see if we can find some good deals. But honestly, most of the time we could find uh, what you need in Austin. So Chris and I normally don't shop, but every now and then you'll find something that is just really difficult to find in the States. You'll find it uh, in the duty-free shops. If you've ever taken an excursion from your cruise ship, you know it's pretty well organized, but if those of you who have not, uh, once you get off the ship, your ticket or receipt or whatever they give you, you just find the corresponding zone. There's usually uh, you know, people outside with signs, so it's, it's not too difficult to find. You just gotta get off the ship and then find your uh, tour guide. Behind me is a giant piece of amber, and I mean giant. Amber Cove is named after the amber that you can find here. If you, if you recall Jurassic Park, it's what uh, encased the mosquito, and that's how we got dino DNA. Uh, so it's really neat right here uh, at the port, find the waterfall, and there's a little tiny bridge, a little walking area. You can find this giant piece of amber. We're on the bus heading to La Casa and La Playa. Um, they got us on the charter bus. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your excursion, La Casa and La Playa. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Helen with a G. And my grandma was a little drunk when she put me the name. And but everybody here, everybody here, they call me Mama. If it's anybody single, please, please, thank you. Yes, he is. Mm -mm. You give me him too quick. With something wrong. Maybe maybe he don't make me sleep in the night. Un gringo loco. No. No? Um, she, whatever she says is the truth. Well, baby, I don't care. I am crazy too. And you gonna be my papacito. You I am your mamacita. And you are my papacito. Now baby, question. Do you have money? <laughs> Have money? No? Anybody have money? <laughs> Sir? You with a blue shirt. I have a papacito with money over there. Guess my boyfriend pay for everything today. Ladies and gentlemen, on La Casa en la Playa, everything is included. 
Chess, umbrellas, paddleboard, kayak, snorkeling, open bar on local drinks, and open buffet. We made it here to La Casa in La Playa. All right, we made it to our destination. All of the chairs, umbrellas, kayaks are all included. Uh, it's an open bar. They do have some like premium beverages you'll have to pay for, but overall, everything's included, including a lunch buffet. Mama is super cute, and the ride over was actually really short. So now I'm just gonna go find a chair and get settled in. All right, let's test out the water. Uh, La Casa and La Playa, it's a small home. This part of Amber Cove just feels and looks completely untouched. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. And we have this beach to ourselves. There's only one other ship that's coming in uh, around noon. We got here uh, about 10 a.m. So we'll have the beach to ourselves for about two hours before you know maybe some additional crowds come. But plenty of chairs for everyone, umbrellas. If you need something, they'll, they'll bring it out to you. The staff here has been absolutely amazing. So as of the first uh, impressions, I uh, highly recommend this excursion. Um, so far, it's off to a great start. All right, y'all, we are in the water here at, uh, in Amber Cove. Uh, we made it to our excursion, the Casa and the Playa, and the water feels great. Uh, my friend, Hippie, thank you, Hippie. Uh, let me his GoPro. All right, y'all. Everyone, almost everyone's in the water. Say hi. 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 It's so fun here. Y'all like it? I love it. I love it. And Mama's so sweet. She's really funny. Yeah, we love Mama. Mama's really nice. Mama So far, where's her Papa Cito? Who's back there? Papa Cito is over there. Are you having fun? Chris, what do you think? Oh. If, he, oh. if he let us use his GoPro oh, so nice. we can get some action shots in the water, we cool. can get one of these. Yeah, no, this is really pretty out here. The water's super warm. Oh my god. Bye. Hey. Don't get lost. Oh, already, already navigation problems. <laughs> you haven't gone very far. All right, what did you order? Pina colada. Wow, it comes in a pineapple. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, recom yummy, yummy. you recommend? Yeah. Cool. And I got the green sunset. I have no idea what's in it, well, other than grenadine in the bottom. It's cool, they come out, the guides come out, and uh, we'll get your drink order and just bring it to you right here in the ocean. Looks good. Drink number two is the Santo Libre, which is Dominican rum, Sprite, and lime. Hi! Lunch is served. We've got rice and beans. There's a spaghetti, which is really good. Chicken and coleslaw. They also have papaya and salad. Pretty big menu. All included. All right, Chris and I are finishing up here in La Casa and La Playa in Amber Cove. Um, everything has been fantastic. The level of service and attentiveness. Uh, this is a great excursion, something that we would redo again and highly recommend. They came out to the water. Like we were in, we were in the water, swimming. They came out, got our drink orders. Chris and I have been on a lot of different excursions, um, but they came around while you were eating, got you drinks. They gave you so much food. Like it's a buffet. They loaded you up the first time. You can go back and get more. The chicken, the rice, the beans. Everything was good. Everything was good. And trust me, the group we're with, super picky eaters, and they loved it. And I'm talking super picky eaters. Um, this is a great excursion, wasn't too expensive, um, and just highly recommend it all, all, all across the board.
The La Casa and La Playa excursion here in Amber Cove is 100% worth every penny. There are a lot of bad reviews that I saw uh, from folks who were complaining about the food and just the overall experience. We had the complete opposite. All right, just got out of the shower, got all fresh, ready to go out. The excursion was absolutely amazing. Amber Cove, I would definitely come back. I definitely want to come back. Right now, we're getting ready for dinner. We're gonna go to the steakhouse here uh, on Carnival Mardi Gras. Not sure how much we're gonna vlog because we're meeting with some friends who we haven't seen in over two years, maybe even three. Um, so it'll be a great opportunity for us to just catch up. It was so great that we could all be on the same ship together. They just had a baby who's absolutely beautiful. Um, so not sure again how much we're gonna vlog, but we're back on the ship um, and we'll see where we go. We'll see where the night takes us. Well, I'm waiting for uh, dinner to start. We're eating at 5.30 and I ran into uh, rehearsals for Carnival Mardi Gras' We Are One show. Looks pretty cool. All right, y'all, Chris and I just finished up at Fahrenheit 555. We have to tell you just a quick little story. So Chris and I went in, we were dressed a little better than this. So Chris and I were wearing a button down shirt and shorts. Now, they were dress shorts. They were dress shorts, they were nice. So um, the hostess essentially shamed us and said that, you know, they have a dress code. She'll let it slide because we're, we were already booked for the room that's actually in the front. And that, you know, I'm, I'll insert the footage here to show you where that room is. Um, it's a, actually a really nice area. It's, it's actually kind of noisy, but it's a nice table. Uh, and you know, she was like, you guys sit in the back, right? She had to sit in the back away from everyone because we're wearing shorts. Yeah. And like, I fully take responsibility, obviously, and accountability for the dress code, right? Like we should have known. I get that. But here's the thing. I was more than willing to go change into pants. Like our room is literally like one, <laughs> one deck up. I was about to go change into pants. Um, and we were with our whole group. We were with our group of friends. And it was just, it was a little condescending the way she was talking to us. Um, definitely yeah. passive aggressive and, you know, kind of unnecessary. Okay, so speaking of the meal, uh, I had a really great time. Uh, the service was great. You know, we talked about our little story and the dress code aside. Yeah. So um, you could essentially order as many appetizers and main courses as you want. Just like uh, the main dining room. Yeah. Right. And you pay a flat fee. I think when we paid it, it was $39 a person. It may have gone up since the price increased to $41 or $42 a person. Definitely check online to make sure. Yeah. Um, but still, for a steakhouse of that caliber and the type of food that you're getting, not bad at all. Okay, yeah. So for the starters, what I got is the shrimp cocktail, and I got a classic Caesar salad. Um, so the shrimp cocktail, much better than the main dining room shrimp cocktail. These are actually like jumbo size shrimp. You get four uh, and a side of cocktail sauce, which is good. I mean, it's a classic shrimp cocktail. You can't really go wrong with that. Um, and the Caesar salad was good too. Like, it's hard to mess up a Caesar salad. I'm glad they didn't, you know. Uh, I'm a sucker for a good Caesar salad, so I had to get it. It was delicious. Um, and for my main, I got the 18 ounce spice rubbed uh, ribeye and got it medium rare. Delicious steak, cooked perfectly, really well seasoned. Um, you know, it was a good steak. Uh, so I started with the pork belly. The pork belly was really good. It wasn't too salty. It had a really interesting sauce. It came with like almost like a dumpling of apples, you know, because pork, apples, pork and applesauce, right, go, you know, really well together, I guess was the idea. It was a little too sweet, but the pork belly actually was quite tasty. Um, and then I also had the risotto. Is that how you pronounce it? Risotto. Risotto. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, I had the risotto and um, it was really creamy. Um, it had these like dehydrated mushrooms on top mm -hmm. and it was really almost like truffles It was of. almost like truffle like definitely maybe a little truffle oil in there. My main entree I had the 18 ounce ribeye. Ribeye is my favorite cut. Um, it's you know, obviously well marbled um, They age all their steaks for 28 days here at Fahrenheit 555 um, 
it was really fatty, but I, you know, it was probably about yeah. four or five ounces of fat. I mean, like, that's what you get but with the ribeye. That's though. what you get with the ribeye. It probably could have been trimmed a little bit before it was served. Yeah. We shared the table dessert, so everyone really got to enjoy that. Yeah. So the table dessert is just like it sounds. Like, it's kind of just this, like, uh, Jackson Pollock-esque art uh, that they, like, splatter the table with. Um, and there's, like, <laughs> these domes of white chocolate that they fill with ice cream and there's different jellies and it's very like you know molecular gastronomy kind of right uh, if you're not adventurous do not get that <laughs> um you do have to be a little adventurous to to, to get it it's beautiful to look at taste wise i liked the ice cream and i liked the chocolate the jellies were a little weird but yeah. you know other than that it was a fun experience completely agree don't make my mistake i was like ooh, piece of candy and i Put an entire jelly in my mouth, thinking, "Oh, it's a jelly. It's gonna be good." Really intense flavor. Take a bite. <laughs> yeah. Maybe take a bite of it. You bit. might not like the flavor. Yeah. Exactly. It was the clear one. Um, anyway, um, pro tip: don't make my mistake. Learn from a bed. Yeah. Take a bite. If you like it, keep eating. All right, y'all. That does it for us here on Carnival Mardi Gras Day Five. Whew, we are beat, tired. We had a, a long day. Uh, Amber Cove was so much fun. Uh, Fahrenheit 555 was delicious, but for now, we're going to hit the hay and get some rest. So, see you guys next time. See you next time.